Chess friends, how are you? You may have heard of Gautama Buddha, a famous enlightened man who brought the light of knowledge into the darkness of ignorance, but today, I have an AI monk chess, a chess engine, and today I played against him in an amazing chess game, this game was completely adventurous, so let's go, I started the game with d4, monk responded with pirate defense because monks are usually peaceful and compassionate, here black could go with bishop g7. There is an amazing line after you play bishop c4, knight f6 is the best for black, but if he dares to bring out his bishop to pin the knight you can slap in your opponent head with bishop f7, the point is that after you capture it knight g5 check queen takes bishop gets back his material, here comes the powerful lightning move queen e6, black faces light square weaknesses and the knight is crazy enough to dance your queen and bishop in bts street. So here you might think of sliding the king away, but it wouldn't solve your mathematics profit and loss problem as after black plays bishop d7, instead of capturing the knight you can shock your opponent by setting up the secret trap with e5, takes takes and white can actually play the e6 move, that's a lion's jaw attack and the innocent rabbit can't escape from it. Love yourself for who you are and work on becoming the best version of yourself every day, so in this position, monk played knight f6 because he learns from every day something new and he played c6, to improve his queenside as well as a flower glows every branches of tree and become a fruit, he tried to produce some chess tactics fruit by placing the bishop on g4, tried to create double f pawns which will illustrate my failure to attack in the king side. I need to manage my pawn structure which is why I played knight h4, e5 h3 bishop to e6 f4 and we have first pawn exchanges and monk attacks the bishop with knight, here monk could go with knight g3 to disturb the rook in knight by sending some weird whatsapp messages, but he opened up his third eye and see the future, he played castle and told me that I will become the super strong chess engine in the world. Praganana will be the world champion in 2023 and Levy will earn Grand Master title at the end of 2027, what are future predictions and if you want to know about your future then comment me, I will message to the monk A. Alright, g4, knight g3 can't possible because rook g1 can trap your knight, so in this position, we have knight f6 and here I could go for long castle, the problem is for me that black can push his Hitler army to me kingdom but you know what, the time he need to attack in my place, I have the magical move knight f5, sacrificing the knight to capture the pawn and move back the bishop, here comes bishop h6, the bold move to break the home of black king with bulldozer car. Black needs to protect his dark square bishop, rook g1 and f6 is coming, how can you survive in the island with your crush? That would be a romantic experience but after queen h6 f6 black is just dead lost. I will play e5 to attack on the f7 pawn and it will be a checkmate in two moves and you know a truth about life, wrong is wrong, even if everyone is doing it, right is right, even if no one is doing it, monk knows that quote because he is a liberated soul but I played sort side castle. You may ask that white have positional weakness in his position, the answer is, no, because the center is very thick by pawns, black's bishop are facing at the mountains, not in king's Paris. The light square might become weak in future but I have enough time to counter black with g5 e5 opening up the bishop, ok knight d7 knight f5, what a move, sacrificing the knight to attack on the bishop, bishop p5 g5, creating asthma problem to the knight. Knight h5 is a turtle type of move so if you dare to play knight e8, which is a very passive, f6 will come, bishop backs queen f2, the black king, along with his home, faces a lone problem in his bank, queen h4, queen takes pawn, will extinguish your candle, and there is no way to safeguard your king, so in this position, some of you might think of playing knight h5, let's have a look to this position, f6, bishop needs to run, queen d1, knight g3 and as I told you long time ago, the bishop is dominating the light square but that doesn't stop queen h5 and queen takes h7, so after rook e8 bishop, backs queen here queen g4 attacks both of the knights, white will regain his material and in this mouse cage, black will suffer because he have not subscribed to my channel, the material world is full of suffering at level of physical, and at the level of psychological, so subscribe the channel to learn chess and quotes which will give right direction to your mind and thoughts. So in this position, monk knows everything about the philosophy of life and chess which is why he captured the knight, takes and if you dare to capture back the pawn, Bishop takes f5 will come and the same tactic g5 will arrive, 
queen back to d8 g5 knight d5 takes takes, queen d3 attacks it so king h8 captured rook here rook f7, look at my queen Elizabethan's army, the rook and queen duo are arriving, bringing potential misfortune into your life. You have to be at your strongest when you are feeling at your weakest, so here we have rook e8 by monk, rook e1 and after a couple of moves later we have g5, and rather than start attacking Balk with the bishop or knight general, I moved up my king on g2, the point is that I forced black to push the b-pawn, after knight e2 c5 I strike in the king side structure and the potential threat of the queen, knight f4 is coming, and you can give me a check which will bring no advantages for you. If monk took on the g6 because he have no greed or jealously for material wealth or gold, knight f4 will come to attack on the g6 and after queen g6 queen h7 will be a checkmate, and even your full power of the knights can't protect your position. Let me show you the variation, rook here knight captured take take knight f6 take take to protect that square, rook takes f6, and you might ask that, he fishy if I capture the rook then that square can be protected by the queen, there is no checkmate, hey humans, if your face is ugly then you should talk beautifully, after queen h6. Bishop c4 will lead checkmate in 9 moves and you know a fact. Discipline isn't your enemy, it's the friend who reminds you of your goals, so in this position monk gives me a check, that doesn't matter to me because I have the queen and rook join attack on f7 and knight g3, rook f8 queen e7 knight captured captured and we have rook exchanges and bishop g2, black gives me a check, and if you dare to slide away the king, you will lose the bishop with a check, and black will get extra piece for his end game. Don't look at evaluation bar because evaluation bar isn't made for humans, king g5 can't possible because it loses the bishop on g2, so what should white play now? That's right, queen takes e5 as a tempo, to capture the queen, couple of moves later we have h4 king g8 and bishop knight exchanges, white have an extra pawn and the black king is cut off by the white rook. Monk played a very nice game with me, at the end of the game he is down one pawn only, what a game. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.